All right. I think I think I'm live. That's kind of hard to tell. I should probably follow the place I'm streaming. All right, here we go. Yeah, I am live. I can see myself on the uh, the actual other Twitch page. Beautiful. Oh, I should probably mute it so I just don't get a bunch of noise. Give me a microphone. And then I'm hoping my mic volume is okay. I might turn this music down a little bit more. Okay, yeah. All right, I think we're good now. I think we got audio working, everything else. So this is interesting. I uh, I, I guess I'm a little early, so I'll actually chat more once I'm actually once I've actually got everything going. First, we got to get a tweet that we're live. And. All right. So I guess we'll just uh, hang out for a little bit until some more people pop in. Uh, and then we'll check in and see where we're at. I got my drink. <laughs> got my computer here. I'm uh, I'm just here to chill out and to, to draw with pixels on a computer. It's kind of the classic <laughs> way to do pixel art. Uh, that's not true. The classic way to do pixel art would clearly be um, on graph paper. Um, but, you know, I never even learned how to animate on paper, so I'm certainly not going to uh, do any pixel art on paper. Um, it's, uh, it's above my pay grade. I, I, I kind of hate Photoshop, but it's um, for pixel art, but <laughs> I'll, I'll kind of explain why I'm in it when we get further in. We'll go over. little bit about how to do pixel art like how to get started with it um and some like the basic things that make it different than other forms of art uh you know but we're gonna keep it casual this isn't a class we're just we're just hanging out we're talking about these pixels that happen to appear on the screen Oh my god, there's so many stray pixels in this, in this drawing. It's like actually disgusting. So new people, we're just waiting for some other people to hop in. I started a little early, but you know, we're gonna give it a little bit more time. If you're here, uh, would love uh, to see you say what up in chat. I, uh, this is me in chat, I'm wizard hole in chat. Nice, pile of bugs, ooh, that's a name. That's good, that's good. Uh, I feel like, Oh, that's a good name. Pile of bugs. Yes. My um my little guy for uh the wizard hole, which is my streaming channel, uh is as a worm. Uh 
and so it's like a bug because like, I'm a big proponent of the idea that worms are bugs so you know that's kind of that's the kind of controversial takes that you should expect on this stream sorry SVA worms are bugs um, I've got your your stream key and there's nothing you can do to stop me uh, from from saying stuff like that I know, right? Yeah, we're we're gonna go in. You know, that's just that's just take number one of the evening. Uh, I've still got this much drink left, so we'll see. Uh, hi, deadly uh, or dead hyenas. That's also oh, that's really good too. And Haley, the pineapple and bug chowder. Wow, these are good. Everyone's name is good. Everyone's everyone's name is really really good. We, this is a uh, I've got I feel like we've got a whole stream full of like sick names, um, which is rare on the internet. Um, I feel like if if I could change something about the internet, it'd be to have more sick names. Uh, sick in like the good way, not the like <laughs> not the extremely ill um, way. You know that's no good. That's no good. So yeah, I'm gonna wait. A, I'm gonna wait a little longer, and I'm just like I'm just doodling away right now, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about uh, and and you know you might hear me say, give this speech a few more times. Uh, I'll go over like what makes pixel art different than other stuff, and then we'll talk about it, and then I'll probably go back to doing this while we all chat. Um, generally speaking, uh, generally speaking. Um, Generally speaking, nothing. Uh, this is I, I. This is uh. This is I. I don't think of this as like a. It's not like a lecture or a class. I, I don't even think I'm like necessarily qualified to do that for pixel art quite yet. But we are gonna talk and hang out. I. Uh, oh, thank you so much, pile of bugs. Um, I I enjoy my production value on Twitch. Um, I I enjoy it a lot. I, I spend too much time doing this and not enough time doing my real job because uh, I really like um, I really like uh, like drawing weird borders and other strange stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I've I've only been doing pixel art uh, really since January. I'm so I'm still pretty new to it, but uh, I've learned a lot of little things about it. And I and you know that's where I, I consider this. You know, it's a pixel art stream for noobs from a noob. Um, but it is pretty cool how many aspects of pixel art translate to just like general art practice, um, animation and, uh, and, uh, art wise. In fact, I don't know if any of you spent much time like watching pixel art streams on, uh, on like YouTube or something, but if you do, uh, you'll probably notice that most of them, uh, most of like the information they give is actually like, uh, a majority just going over art fundamentals um and and less about like programs to use so like when i was trying to figure out what programs to use i it, it took me a long time to actually start feeling confident um as i switched over and i you know you can see i'm using photoshop right now or you probably can tell i'm using photoshop but i use uh photoshop and another program called um Aspirate, um or Aspirate. uh which is uh, pretty cheap. It's only twenty dollars, but you can also, um, if you can, if you compile it, you can get it for free. But I, I'm not totally sure. Uh, I'm not totally sure. Like, it, it seemed really hard to do. I tried to do that, but then I was like, I don't know enough about computers to really go through it. Um, yeah, I've been doing some pixel art animation. Um, I've been doing some, uh, and I'm going to do more. But like for now, it's it's I've I've mostly been like organizing like drawing around it. Or if I'm doing animation, it's that kind of like very compy kind of animation. Um, here I can show you. Um, I can show you. Uh, so like okay, so this is animated, but this is like <laughs> very very. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, for for the compliment of the stream frame. So yeah, uh, Kaylee, this is. Uh, animation obviously but this is like the most basic uh effects animation in the world you know it's just a few popping lights uh and then i made this earlier today um this is actually a promo i'm probably gonna promo it a lot uh for my role-playing game uh stream uh 
that I'm doing on this channel tomorrow at 8 p.m. where I will be playing uh, a homebrew uh, tabletop role-playing game with other members of SVA faculty. Um, and we will be... Uh, yeah, I mean, I love uh, tabletop role-playing games more than, like, almost anything in the world. So, like, I... Uh, I was like, yeah, I'll do a pixel art stream, but I also really want to do a role-playing game stream <laughs> with my other teacher friends. So we've got that, and I made this as a promo, just like as a warning. Um, this has some flashing lights, so if you, it, it, it's only lasts about like, it's only like, you know, 10 seconds long, but if uh, flashing lights bother you, I just want to give you a warning. I'll count to three. Three, two, one. All right, so it's done. That's, this is also like, um, so this is something, thank you, thank you. This is like, a, this is the kind of like animation I've, I've been doing a couple different things, but this is like the kind of stuff I'm really comfortable doing um, because it's more like compy, right? Like I only have to build a few frames out. Like if we actually go through it, um, if we go through it, like if you organize your frames properly, all I really have are like two, to, two or three different drawings of lightning that appear in, um, in this window up here and then i've got the child praying the child praying with the text over it and then i've got the uh the weird monster head uh and then outside of that i just have you know the shading you see here i've got only like the black tone one gray tone and a slightly lighter tone and then as we move if i go slowly you'll see it's just the same tone just like colored slightly different. So it's mostly, this animation is mostly just about organization and little adjustments. Like, so for when this room's really bright, you know, the shadow on the child goes this way instead of this way. Uh, by this way, I mean left instead of right. But so that's most of what it is. But I, I mean, I've been really enjoying um, pixel art from like this kind of uh, perspective. I think um, for me, I, I, I've uh, struggled uh, bringing sort of my my rough lines that I often like when I'm animating into uh, a final that's solid and really clean um and the reason why is because I just don't like cleaning that much but when we're looking at something like this like the pixels actually like muddle muddy things up really well and they keep the roughness that I really like and so like that's an advantage you see in pixel art and it's not an advantage um you often were like the I used to think of with pixel art because I think of pixel art as really really clean, um, you know, video game animation, you know, Mega Man and Mario, like really really clean, and even like the uh, really beautiful complex uh, pixel sprites you might get in some other games, they often don't um, embrace that kind of like roughness to it, um, and so I really like that from an illustration perspective, and from an animation perspective, um, it's also really exciting. Though, it's it's you have to control it. And we'll we'll go into that too, but like controlling the pixel is um, something that uh, you'll probably either think it's really fun or uh, hate completely. Uh, I think it's fun um, because I'm already a little bit uh, fastidious with the way I draw, um, so I like getting really close in here and 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 tweaking each pixel. But if you're the kind of person that wants to draw like in broad strokes and just leave it, that probably won't work for you. Um, but it might. I don't know. So this is a this is like a really short bit of animation that I made. Um, it's uh, you know just uh, I was working on something and I was like, oh, what if I make a little night guy who uh, gets affronted by something? So it's just an affront. It's just uh, going from an idle state to like this affronted with his neck up, back down to the idle state, um, and then I've got like just a more general idle animation. I wanted a, a subtle kind of animation of the character breathing and just standing there. So this is like an example of that. Um, and then I tried like taking the same sprite and seeing about like reducing it down and seeing how small I could make it. Let me see, what's what's the sprite size of this? So this is like almost like 79 by 79 pixels, which is probably more than it needs to be. And it's still pretty big. A lot of video games are just like 36 by 36 or even 24 by 24 uh, pixels. But I don't know, as you could see from from this um and even from this um i like details so like you know i'm somebody that likes to get into the nitty-gritty like drawing all these bricks in this wall uh was so fun for me um so if you like that oh that's just the border we're looking at right now let me close that um 
and like a similarly, you know, I drew I drew this background. This was the first like real like full pixel art thing I tried to do, and I drew this back in January. I only just posted it online. Um, but like this was me trying to experiment with this idea of like, oh, let's control, but also uh, let's um, yeah, let's control the the pixels, but also let's do something that feels a little like rough and a little sketchy. Um, so this is like. This is what I'm really interested in. And if I, um, if you'll indulge me, it all comes back to um, the video games I used to love playing as a kid. Um, I didn't play console stuff. My parents wouldn't buy me a Sega or a Nintendo or um, I think I got a PlayStation when I was, a, yeah, I got a PlayStation uh, pretty late, but I, I played uh, computer games. Uh, so I have these old, um, does this actually get bigger? It, oh my god, it doesn't. That's amazing. Hold on one second. No, you can't tell what I'm looking at. All right, so I'm zooming in so much. Um, I used to play these uh, these uh, old games, um, and like this is an example of what uh, of what they looked like. You know, you'd be this sprite character walking around um, uh, walking around this area. Uh, and you would get these like really intricate, intricate, uh, uh, intricate and like detailed uh, backgrounds that you would walk around because it, it was a little bit more. Uh, well, these were called adventure games in the eighties and nineties, and they were a little bit more about solving, not like not like puzzles like the Water Temple and Zelda, but puzzles like who who killed the person, how do you solve the mystery, and you have to go and like observe people and find clues and stuff. Um, the Colonel's Bequest, that's what this is. If you're ever interested in this kind of old school game, The Colonel's Bequest is absolutely amazing. Um, it takes about two hours to play through all the way. Um, and it's it's like a it's like a great moment in like history. Let me give let me pull up one more example. Um, these are these kinds of games that were uh, sort of really, really popular back in the day, but they are now um, relics like they're they're from a time that people don't really like talk about anymore um uh specifically because of where they came out so yeah here's another this is another game i love this is maybe my one of my favorite games of all time is this one uh this is called quest for glory uh two um it's just a really cool game and so like oh did you that's amazing D that's amazing uh dead hyenas that's a cool um so yeah these uh what i really liked about these games is like you had um, a sort of like isometric view but it wasn't true isometric and everything was hand drawn and it really felt like you were exploring this world in a way that like Mega Man or uh, I know I said Mario before like Mega Man uh, or kind of any game before Metroid uh, Super Metroid uh, I know they had like exploration in them and, and so did Super Metroid but it didn't feel uh, like the world felt gamier uh, than they did in these games so that's kind of what I'm inspired by when I'm drawing like backgrounds like this um, is trying to enjoy uh, the kind of like moodiness, but also like embrace the kind of uh, the roughness of the pixel. But as you can see from me playing around with this, like there comes a time and a place to be um, clean with it also. Um, so yeah, um, I think we can, we can start. So my plan for this stream is to go over some basic fundamentals about like how pixel art works oh that's amazing yeah uh sned doodles uh maniac mansion is is really interesting it's a, like a little rough at times i feel because it's so old that's like the the first uh what was his name um ron gilbert is that his name uh let me look it up um like i think ron gilbert made it is that Wait, oh, that's a TV show series. Uh, but yeah, Ron Gilbert uh, made it, and it, it's like the first Lucas Arts adventure game. It's awesome. It is uh, really weird looking um, for its time, but like that's a really cool game. I really like the old Sierra games because they, um, I think, because I grew up with them. Honestly, I think they're worse in every way <laughs> than the Lucas Arts games. Uh, but I don't know. I I have a soft spot in my heart for for Sierra. Uh, so yeah, my you know my my long term ambition is to, uh, you know, make a game that iterates off of these things. And I thought, hey, in my downtime, why don't I like start teaching myself pixel art and maybe even a little bit of coding? Um, I like the pixel art more than I like the coding. Um, 
You know, I, I don't know if a VOD is going to be available after after this, but um, I, um, I'm i recording it on my end, so, like, if they don't make a VOD of it, uh, I can, uh, like, if you're at only, I guess this is only open to SVA people, but you can email me on my SVA email if you want, um, and then I can, I can send it to you. I don't know totally how people can find that. Um, we'll figure that out later. Um. Oh, cool. Yeah, then yeah. If you, I'm I'm cool with you making a vod of this. Yeah, that's fine with me. Um, I don't mind. I love vods. I uh, I have them all over my channel too. Okay. So, um, yeah. Hi, Sam. That makes sense. I see the sword. That makes sense. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, Swiggity, the dithered uh. Dithered music is that um is that where like the music would be contextual based on where you went, um I don't really know much about that side of it, um, so anyway uh yeah so let's let's talk about a little bit about like how pixel art works, um and how and some like basic stuff that's good to know when you're getting into pixel art, and then what I thought I'd do is I uh, have a little bit of um stuff I want to work on for my uh, RPG stream which has uh. I put so much production value into that thing. Um, so, and, and I need to pixelate some characters. So I figure then I'll actually be doing that. So that's what I was doing at the beginning of the stream. Um, I've already got these characters that I had non-pixelated and I want to pixelate them. And I can talk to you about my process as I'm doing it once we go over all of this stuff. So at that point, it's mostly going to be hanging out and me just talking about like why I'm putting the pixels, where I'm putting them. Because that is, to me so far, the really interesting part about pixel art. Um, is you have to be really conscious about where your lines are going. So let's start uh, simply. Uh, I started doing this in Photoshop, and I think that, man, I shouldn't have drank. I shouldn't be drinking a drink that makes me burp all the time. Sorry, everybody. I'm trying to move away from the mic. Um, so I think one of the main things uh, or mistakes I made uh, when I was starting uh, is figuring out what size uh, canvas you want to work on, right? Uh, so normally when I'm drawing something, I sort of don't, I mean, it depends on what I'm working on, but usually like at work or something, I'm working on 1920 by 1080. That's just like, you know, standard resolution stuff, uh, stuff, you know, sometimes I'll work by like one by one, if I'm going to post to Instagram or even uh, 16 by nine or what is it? It's like 1080 by 1920. Cause then I can upload to like Instagram stories or something like that. But usually I'm working 1920 by 1080. If you do that with pixel art, it's probably gonna be obvious to all of you, but let's just do it just to show you. Um, if we do that with pixel art, you wanna really be using a pixel brush and you, at least as far as I know, you kinda wanna be wor working at size one. And so if I work at this size, that, I might've actually <laughs> moved the thick cursor a little more. This might be more than one pixel. I don't know if you could see that in the middle of there. It is, no, I was able to only do one, but that's like one pixel. That means that you're gonna have to draw so much to fill up this screen. Don't do that to yourself, it's silly. Instead, if you're going to do a, a full, oh, it was actually, it was four pixels just all right next to each other. That's going to be something I'll bring up later. Um, don't do this to yourself. Don't draw at 1920 by 1080. And you might think, oh, well, if I use a pixel brush, which up here, by the way, that's what I'm using. I'm, I'm on a, um, I'm just on the pencil tool. I'm on the pencil tool and I'm on one uh, size. You might think like, oh, the pencil tool, it's it still makes squares if I if I bump it up to, to uh, three two or three, I think after that, yeah, it gets weird like this. You probably can still make it a block, but you don't need to do that because like, look at this, look at how horrible these lines are. They, they, they get all this extra texture to it. Um, and, and that's, that's not going to help you. Uh, you want it to be like each pixel. So even if you're drawing with big pixels, you don't want to go through and start like placing the pixels next to each other like this. This is a nightmare. I'm sure there's a way to make them snap better, but, um, but the point just is don't work this big instead what you want to do is work more like uh if you're doing like a bigger piece and you want it to be able to look good on a monitor you want to take a 1920 uh by 1080 dimensions you want to divide them by another number the bigger the number the easier you're going to make your life and you should divide it by a bigger number than you think you need to so for example this image uh when i've sent it to people i have resized it up uh to 1920 by 1080 which I can do without losing any pixelation because it's a perfect divided, it's a, it's perfectly divided. So like what I mean by that is, 
the image size of this right now is 640 by 360, right? But, uh, so that's, that's way easier uh, to work with. But if I, is that times three or is it times four? It's, I think it's, it must be times three. But if I multiply it by uh, times three uh, on either side, check it out. It's still pixel perfect. It's 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 now I can export it at 1920 by 1080. It'll open up at full size resolution, but because it was a, a divisible by 1920 by 1080, um, we don't lose any anything. Uh, whereas if I were to uh, not do that, let's say let's let's do um, let's just increase it to let's say 2,500, right? Um, we're our nearest neighbor down here, and you're gonna get like it's mostly gonna be okay, but you're gonna get these weird moments here where like. This is our pixel size. I'm at this close, you can see it. What? Okay, I, let me put it even higher. This is our pixel size, but like, what? what is this? This is like, things are not the right, things are like the wrong pixel size in general. They're going to be weird dimensions and weird angles where like, this is too long right here. Um, and this is too wide right here. And it's sort of like, you want everything to be built off of squares, but like, look, it's like, it's 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 not squares and you might think yeah. like oh what does that matter it's not that big of a deal but this is one of those problems that cascades and gets worse and worse and worse and worse the more you do it it might be fine if i do it this one time because who's really going to zoom in this close but like don't get into habits like that you're just better off keeping with like good habits just just make files that are uh divisible by 1920 by 1080 or whatever you want to work in probably 1920 by 1080 if you're doing full like illustration canvases if you're not then um you know it depends on what you want the sprite size to be uh but you should figure all this out in the first place so for me like when i was working on this knight character over here um this guy um i was originally going to place this guy into the medieval drawing uh i showed you before the, the library drawing before i just never really got around to it just like jobs come up and then i got in these streams i started doing production for these streams so like you know projects come and projects go i'll come back to this and work on it more um but the other cool thing is like if you we've got now this files 1920 by 1080 if you don't know how much to divide it by i didn't know you could do this you maybe you all know this and you're all smarter than me but i didn't realize you can just put slash in the number and then it'll divide it perfectly as long as you're linked here so now we're dealing with 480 by 270, beautiful. We can multiply this by four to bring it to 1920 by 1080 whenever it is you want to export it. Um, and then now let's look at what one pixel looks like here. Now down there, it probably doesn't look that noticeable, but it's probably because I should have uh, I should have kept the 1920 by 1080. Um, this is uh, this is zoomed in 200 percent. This is 670 percent. It's just like the difference, if we look at it like around the same size in the screen, you can't even see the pixels in the 1920 by 1080. You can see them here, which is just to show you that even working um, at uh, 480 by 270, you've still got a really big canvas, but it's much, much more manageable. Uh, to put it in context, those, um, those old uh, images I showed you before, that Colonel's Bequest drawing, where, she, where the, uh, the character was in the, um, in the church, uh, that was 200 by 200. Um, yeah, Sam, I uh, I didn't realize that, that you could do that until I was working on this, and I was using an external calculator to try to figure out, uh, like, oh, what's 1920 divided by 4, and what's 1080 divided by 4? And then I realized somebody, I watched some other, like, pixel art stream, and somebody just did it in there, and I felt like such a moron. I, too, have been using pixel, using this for 10 years, and I only just learned about this trick in January. Um, so yeah, that's, so yeah, picking your canvas is the most important, um, thing because it determines how much work you're going to force yourself to do. Um, I think similarly, let me see this, this thing, the, uh, the, the trouble with children, which is the, the name of the adventure I'm going to send my RPG crew on to, uh, let's see what size this sprite is. Also 640 by 360. I was probably just like trying to keep it simple to the same size as my um, previous one. But like, you know, you can kind of see the pixels here. Like it's 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 a big canvas, but it's manageable. Um, you can also tell, whoop, uh, all right. So once we figured this out, 
then it's really a matter of uh, picking our brush. So once again, we want to go pencil tool, which you can get to by going here, going down to pencil tool, and it, then it's B as normal. And then you want to set it to, I mean, I do hard, it doesn't really matter because it's going to be pixelation, but you want to set it to one. Um, because if you do bigger than one, like I was saying before, you're going to have this problem where um, the curves aren't really like natural for what you want to be doing. Um, and you're going to have to be very specific about how you move them. So from here, let's talk about lines because lines uh, and how you draw your pixels is like the specific thing about pixel art. And it is a, um, it's, it's, a it's an interesting, um, it's an interesting way of working with lines. It's totally different than um, most uh, most ways of drawing. So I'm not uh, good with, uh, what's the word, uh, traditional media. I don't like using it because I like being able to uh, hit undo and I'm a little too fastidious. I, I find myself unhappy with like my roughs, but I draw so many roughs that I'm like destroying the page. And then when I go in with ink, I feel like really panicky about every line. I've never been able to get that gestural with it, um, which is one thing I love about pixel art because you kind of have to be a little gestural uh, with your roughs and then go in and clean the lines. So let's look at a couple of different lines we have here on this character. Um, the first thing you'll notice is a lot of lines, let me turn off the background layer. A lot of the lines have this kind of effect on it here where you've got a missing pixel between each of these angles, right? Like there's two ways we could be drawing this. Um, and these actually end up being pretty different by the time we like zoom out and look at what our actual uh, image looks like. <laughs> this face just haunting me. Um, you'll notice that this one uh, on the on the right is feels way bolder and way more graphic than the one on the left. And that is actually like a really important part of pixel art that, that uh, you need to uh, be conscious of as you're drawing. Uh, basically, you either of these types of lines are valid, but you have to be making conscious decisions about which one you want to be using. This one on the right is called uh, drawing on doubles. It's a little bit more, uh, it's way more graphic. It's way more bold. It's like a stylistic choice. Whereas this one on the left is a lot more subtle. And you can see that here. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's draw a distinction and put like these two lines next to each other and make them both the different types. We now have a character who has, because of the way those lines work, a much bolder chin line here than they do the line of their uh, of their shirt. Uh, and the only reason it feels less is literally just these pixels in these corners. Um, and so using the, that as a tool and understanding when to use those and being uh, specific about choosing when to use those is a really important part of pixel art. It seems like it seems like it wouldn't be that big a deal, but when you start drawing in it, you'll notice that happening. The other thing is you want to be very specific about the patterns of your lines. So, for example, if I just do this, what we got here is a bunch of uh, a bunch of pieces on doubles and a bunch of pieces on singles. Let's do let's do two. Um, the first thing you want to do is unify the whole thing, or at the very least, have a specific reason why some parts might be doubled and some part might be singled. Uh, but the other thing is there's some uh, there's some hard edges in here, like this part right here, this little bit. It's hard to draw arrows pointing to stuff because they're all going to be like huge pixel art arrows. Um, but there are going to be inconsistencies in the smoothness of your line uh, that you need to go in and, and smooth out. And if that's something that sounds fun to you, then you're going to love pixel art. But if that doesn't sound fun to you, uh, you might hate it. But then again, you can also draw a lot smaller than I'm drawing. So like this is these are like the pieces that I find are most specific to pixel art. Uh, it's this understanding of or this this intentionality about the way you are um, forming your lines and the consistency about the way you're forming your lines. So, for example, here on this person's cranium. You'll notice that we have a big flat line at the top. Then we have a three line, a three line, a two line, a two line, a two line, a two line, then one, 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 one. And the reason for that is to simulate the slope of the cranium. Um, I have a big forehead that slopes. This person has a big forehead that slopes. You know, it's like a, it's like a solidarity thing. We understand each other. Um, and that's what kind of uh, lets me know uh, to do it like that. So 
being very like choosing where you want to have these lines happen because you could have sort of like a similar you you could have a similar effect without this specific pattern but it's going to probably look messier but then again you might notice right here i've got a is it in too far i got a one a two a one and a two and it's one of those things where this was like i made the call it feels worse to me it feels worse to me to just do the pattern specifically. Having this one moment where it goes two, one, two, one, 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 that it just feels better to me. It's all subjective. There's no rules saying you can or can't do any of these things, but it's really important to be consistent and to be conscious about why and when you're placing the lines where you're placing the lines. Um, so yeah, again, to watch out for, the two things to watch out for are doubles versus single lines and pattern irregularities that you didn't put in intentionally. So when I'm drawing these characters, you'll notice I'll do things like, oh, I'll draw the back of the head and I'll try to get to a point where it's like, okay, the shape feels, yeah, that feels about right, but look how horrible these extra edges are. So now we wanna go in here and, um, and clean them up. And you'll notice like as we, just like we have up over here, the lines are going up and it's three, two, 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 one, two, one, one, one. And then horizontally, three, three, two, 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 two. We don't need to match that. We could if we wanted to, but I don't think we need to need to like match it specifically. But now, yeah, this is pretty consistent. I like the one, two, one here because we got a one, two, one there. That feels good to me. But I do like the idea of making the back of the character a little bit more bold than the front just to create some contrast. So we're going to put the back on doubles. Um, we're gonna make sure the whole thing is on doubles. We gotta make sure that all of the back lines here are, are on doubles. Um, and that is just you know a little way that we'll create a little bit more contrast for the character um, as a whole. And I don't know how far we're gonna go with the doubles, probably, probably to when it levels out here. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and then over here, we've got a, a missing stray line there. We've got some inconsistencies in the line here. And like, as you do this, you'll actually just start finding them. You'll just start, uh, you'll, you'll be scrolling through and going like, oh, there's, a, there's an unintentional double or, oh, there's an inconsistency in the line um, and stuff like that. So that, um, those are like, when it comes to like working with pixel, oh my gosh, I don't know why I keep putting a layer on. Um, so when it comes to, um, working with the like pixel art brush, this is like the main part that makes this way different than uh, them working with you know a Kyle Webster brush or uh, or just traditional media. I find um, I think that uh, this is something that I've really been enjoying. It feels like I have a tremendous amount of control and I get to indulge. Okay, I no longer like this that that two one two that I had over there. Um, it gives me a lot of control. Uh, but it also lets me start off with like gestural lines that I get to go back in and clean. And it's also relatively fast because I'm one of those people that will draw the same line like a dozen times. But this time I can just get the basic idea and then clean it up. And that, oh, oh my gosh, is so satisfying. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you how satisfying it is. It feels so good. Um, don't we all love this character? Their name is Gretchina. Um, yeah. So... Also, I never mentioned, uh, my name is Peter uh, Schmidt. I teach uh, FX animation uh, at uh, SVA. I imagine many of you are SVA. Um, my class is, uh, I think, like registering is happening soon. So if you want uh, to learn about FX animation, which I think is objectively the coolest kind of animation that there is, um, come hang out uh, with me in person this time. Hey, yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's a night class on Wednesdays, and we are going to like make explosions. We're going to talk about how fire works, and we're going to talk about how uh, how wind works uh, and stuff. I love uh, FX animation; it's so cool. And um, yeah, I don't know; it's the best. It's the best kind of animation there is. Yeah, uh, please, Kaylee. Is that Kaylee who was in my class? I just got to check. I got to ask. I I uh, I got to see. Then there's like a delay because there's a 20 second, 20 second delay. Um, not to put you on the spot, Kaylee. Woo! You rock. You, uh, you did such great work. You did such great work. It was such a delight having you in the class. Um, 
I uh, yeah, I like uh, I like FX animation, and hopefully, uh, if you come hang out with me in my class, I will try to uh, I will try to uh, indoctrinate you into liking FX animation. Um, I f I see that as my my primary goal uh, as a teacher is um, indoctrination, which I think is uh, I think that's good. I think that's a good goal to have. Um. Yeah. So okay. So what else is there to really go over? I feel like it's 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 sort of funny talking about this because like I um I didn't plan like a lecture or anything. I mostly was like, oh, I've been doing pixel art for uh like a couple months now, and I've been playing around with it. Um, I would love an excuse to just do this on on stream. Um, especially because I've I've been <laughs> drawing little things like this. Also, um, thank you for loving the expression and uh, and thank you for loving Gretchina. I love Gretchina. Um, Gretchina is a uh, is a nurse who works at a orphanage, um, and is the only employee there because of budget cuts. Uh, that's the lore. But you can find out more tomorrow if you tune in for our the SVA meets Wizard Hole. Uh, tabletop role-playing game uh, spectacular uh, you know it's 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 gonna be so good it's uh, we can I can also pop this on screen too yeah there's a new have a luck logo uh, I got these loaded up with my stream deck I also uh, just realized that my music stopped playing um, and it probably stopped playing a long time ago so I'm gonna put my music back on please let me know if there's a problem with the uh, with the um, uh, with the with the with the audio like if it's too too loud or too quiet or whatever Yeah, of course. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, FX animation rules uh, and pixel art rules. Um, so, okay, cool. I'm glad. Um, actually, I played audio, but it didn't even... All right, I've got like this four hour uh, playlist of non-commercial uh, music that I played during my old cyberpunk stream that uh, I think it has like weird noises in the middle of it that I never was able to find. By weird noises, I mean like like a horse neighing and stuff like that. So uh, ignore that if it happens. And um, and like the, the audio might bump in, in volume, but just like let me know and I'll, I'll adjust it if, that, if that's the case. Um, so yeah, the main difference, as I was saying, is that oh man, there's all these tangents. I'm miserable, I'm miserable right here making this. Um, the main difference is is those two components of drawing. It's the uh, it's the doubles versus singles, and making sure your patterns are consistent. Um, outside of that, it's a drawing with blocks of of color. Um, so let me come into Aspirate now and and show you like why I like working in Aspirate more than Photoshop. The reason I'm working in Photoshop on this project is because, as you can see on the left, I have this massive folder of NPCs that I've used for this role-playing game stream that were not drawn in pixel art and therefore are harder to read and look worse. And I'm just porting them over. So I'm drawing in, in Photoshop. But Asprite, or Asprite over here, this program is amazing. Uh, and let me show you why. This program costs $20. Or you can download it for free, but if you download it for free, you can't ever save. Uh, uh, or uh, you can compile it uh, for free uh, and have the full version, but I don't know enough about computers to do that, but I'm sure there's some tutorial online if you want to. So um, the thing about Aspirate uh, that's really nice is it's designed specifically for pixels. And there are a lot of pixel art programs out there. There might be other ones that are better than um, then you know what? One second, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a horse. I have horse music. I just need to add it to the stream. One second. I, I have so many horse noises. Um, I'll I'll I'll, I'll get them uh, in. Here we go. Sorry, I just uh, dead hyenas. We need to I need to like honor your comment uh, by getting this in. <laughs> Wait, that's just the nay. Hold on, there's a longer one. <laughs> um, this is the kind of high quality um, stuff that I I hope I hope we all uh, can enjoy together. Um, I found this horse, this this authentic horse noise. 
<laughs> I found it by Googling free horse noises. And <laughs> this was the first and only thing that I could find. And I mean, it just so happens to be the best, uh, the best horse noise. I think that one could find. Um, and let me get one more thing over here, which is a little, a little he, a, a little he he he. Here, I get a little he 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 in, in the chat. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And you all got to watch me use my stream deck because I didn't put it on the other screen because I'm very professional. <laughs> um, yeah, I get a hee-hee in the chat. The um, I What I love about the hee-hee is that I also downloaded that from a website, uh, and it, it was described as female hee-hee is <laughs> the name of it, um, which is not descriptive at all for what it is, I, I don't think. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, this is, like, authentic. <laughs> enough horsing around yeah um so what i like about ace Bright, uh that's different than photoshop is first off you get this amazing feature if you hold if you click a corner and then hold down shift you could draw a line and i know you could do that in photoshop too you could do that in photoshop as well however you'll notice ace Bright shows you the line as it's going. And that means that you automatically get a pattern um, of like a single line pattern, regardless of where you put it, which saves so much time. It's really helpful to also be able to see where you're going. I don't know why Photoshop doesn't have it. The other really good thing Ace Bright has that Photoshop doesn't, and this is one of those things, I do not understand why Photoshop doesn't do this. It's the dumbest thing in the world. You actually have onion skin options you can make the onion skin red blue i don't know why photoshop doesn't do this it is the it would be the easiest change to make photoshop instantly a one 100 times better as an animation tool but they don't do it it's just black and white i have looked at us up so much thinking there must be a way to change the onion skin to red blue or something else like that nope there isn't there isn't a way to do it and so now only a sprite lets me sit in this beautiful realm of red blue where i can see where i'm going with my animation as i go there it is so useful and so important so we're working on a uh yeah it, it, honestly that's it those are like the main two reasons why i like this program more it's it, it seems like small uh advantages uh but they actually uh it saves you so much time they also have this really cool um uh, c color palette uh thing that's all these old presets from different like computers um, and different like like computers and aesthetics at different times. I think it's really cool. So it's like if you want to use if you want to use the old uh, yeah I guess CGA high, but I love these colors. Just like uh, what was that? What was that Playmobil game? This is what I like about streaming. I can just like think about this Playmobil fire game. Is there any chance I'm gonna find this? I don't think so. Uh, computer. <laughs> okay, so I use DuckDuckGo because it's a little bit more secure. So I'm using DuckDuckGo to go to Google to type in Playmobil Fire Computer Game Fire Fighter. And let's see if I can find it. Oh my gosh, nothing's coming up. I'm gonna do one more search and if nothing comes up, then you just have to believe me that there was a game that existed. That, okay, so there was a Playmobil firefighting game that had this color palette which, of blue, uh, pink, and light gray, and it was the cutest thing in the world. And you'll just have to, you'll just have to trust, you'll just have to trust me uh, about that. Um, yeah, I feel like, I, Kaylee, I feel like Photoshop literally could uh, add these in, in a heartbeat. Uh, I think just at the end of the day, they don't care about animators very much. Uh, which I, I guess is just is what is what it is. Um, yeah, the Ace isn't the Ace Bright UI really cute too. I, I really like how chunky it is. Um, it's nice. Um, so yeah, let's draw, let's draw a little little guy. Let's draw a little guy. Let's draw a Pixel Perfect. I don't totally know what Pixel Perfect does. So let's draw a little guy. And let's let's fill the little guy. Okay, so we got a little shape here, and let's see what what kind of what kind of. Um, Oh, I know what kind of guy this is going to be. 
So I'm just getting a silhouette down just to like make sure that the silhouette's looking good. Um, and then we will we will we'll, we'll do a little little teensy bit of animation um, on this little guy before I go back to um, drawing Gracchina, um, which I know you're all really excited about. So I don't want to keep us away from Gracchina for too long. Um, and Gracchina doesn't want to be left waiting either. Let me tell you. Okay, so we've got our little outline there. Now let's get a let's get a little drawing. Let's see. Um, let's film these lines. I don't think you're all ready for what we're going to do. It's going to be a classic character. It's just one of those classic, classic characters. To be honest, I'm only 80% I'm only sure this is going to work. Okay. No, too low. Here we go. Almost done. We're almost there. It's also nice is like you can just copy the lines from the previous little bit if you feel like you're you're having trouble keeping things com consistent. So here we go. Yes, we have now a classic character. So this one is right here. So let's do boom, boom, boom. All right. Yeah, I think this is a pretty classic character. Wouldn't you agree? Um, Let's let's get this classic character some colors. We, we can't use this palette. This palette is not the right palette. We can use this palette though. Now this, this is a cute palette. So now we've got this line. Let's like, you know, boom. Still getting there. Maybe maybe it needs like an upper lip. No, there we go. You want to tell me that's not that's not a not a classic character? That's a classic character right there. Instant classic character. And now we've got the little bit of boldness on the back part. just a little aesthetic boldness on the back part, you know, like check it out. Okay, so that uh, didn't take long to draw, right? We got a classic character now. Um, and and yeah, it's uh, in case you didn't know, Kaylee said it, spoiler alert, frog. Uh, that's what it is. I think, okay, no, the, it, it got weirder. This is, this is what's up. Okay, so let's now take our classic character and let's give our classic character just the most basic um, little idle animation in the world. I don't, I'm still tweaking these. Uh, is it, does it need to be, does it need to be a little more? Is this better? Mm, no, it's not better. But maybe this side doesn't need to be on doubles. Maybe that's it? No, it kind of does. This is a sort of fun thing that you get to do when you're doing pixel art. You get to stand here and go, mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. All right, so let's make a new frame. So we've still got our, our frame below that's just this epic shape that helped us out along the way. We can like not use that. And then, yeah, if I create a new layer, it's just going to, uh, on the right, it's just going to pop them over. But no, get out of here because we've got to make you a different, we got to make you get a little different. So I figure like we'll do a classic like squash and stretch kind of thing, like make them go low and then, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I think like it's pretty easy, like right off the bat to go, OK, we're just going to go two pixels down of all the pixels we already have. Right. It's 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 actually pretty. Um, you sometimes can get lost doing that, but it actually two, three, four, five. It's actually a pretty easy way to keep track of where your pixels are supposed to be. I feel like, oh, because it's three. Um, okay, 
And now that we're getting out here, is this where we got to have come up with the creative decisions? And the creative decision is to get this this large one to poof out a bit at the bottom. Probably poof out more than that, right? Like this is this is we want this to be content level. Uh, we'll we'll mm, we need more than this. No, I don't like the way this is going. We're not doing it. We're going bolder than this. I want bold shapes. I'm not doing this weird thing where we're going piecemeal, piece by piece, trying to decide how to amicably make this frog get squat. Mm -mm, no, we're not doing that. We're just make, we're making it get big real fast. Well, I don't like that either, but okay. Yeah, all right, we're doing better. We want thick lines on the back. All right, and now we can make the eyes do this. That's fun, everybody loves that. And the mouth, probably lower it by one. And of course, when squat, frog happy. So let's grab our other colors. When squat, frog happy. Frog. All right, we should probably make make the nose get a little, well, maybe like this. Mm, no, squat nose. All right. I feel like we need a little bit more dithering over here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling this. I think I'm feeling this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, tell me this is not a million dollar video game icon right here. Come on. Look at this. I, Sam, that's exactly what I'm my that's exactly my thoughts on this too. Win squat frog happy. Oh my gosh. You we almost could just say, that's it. Call Nintendo. We're done. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> We're done. Uh, have you ever seen art done so quickly at this level uh, uh i haven't um but but no we're gonna do we're actually gonna do we're gonna do another one we gotta do miserable lanky frog and this is just one of those like tragedies of life in order to get squat large round and just amazing sometimes you have to do the opposite I'm not so sure about this one, but if anyone else is grimacing right now, trust me, I am too. I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about doing this. Not at all. But sometimes, sometimes you just have to do it. We'll make sure Frog is not happy either. Or, or maybe we make the frog really messed up. Yeah. It might be that the frog kind of likes it, I, I, and I don't, and that's where the complexity of the character comes in. You know, this it, it's 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 a complex character moment. Maybe we, we we even maybe we even give it a little ugh, a little like smirk like that. I don't know how I feel about this, but you know, we gotta we gotta just do it. We gotta we gotta try out. Like if you know, you're not an artist if you if you can't be bold, make bold decisions, even unpopular ones. You know, what's that? Uh, what's that? Uh, what's that thing? Piss Christ. That wasn't made in a day. It might have been made in a day. It was probably made in a day. Um, but you know, controversial things like that, like this. You know, sometimes you you have to do it. You just have to. You don't have. You never had a choice. All right. Now, against my better judgment, we're gonna see how this looks. So uh, let's delete this layer here so it actually moves. Oh, let's turn off my noise cancel. I mean, can't argue with results, honestly. <laughs> like, you can't. You can't argue with results. This is just life over here. This is what happens sometimes. It's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, one could say that this animation is a bit much. Um, 
And so for those naysayers, fine. We'll tween it out. We'll tween it out. And we will, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try to calm it down for the, for the naysayers. But we all know who we are, right? We all know. We like this. We don't like this. Who could like this? Not me. Oh. Well, let's draw the uh, let's draw the middle frame. We'll see how this goes. I, I might need something more creative than just a straight up tween. Oh, I just had a really good idea. Okay, I'm gonna try something. This might not work, but I had a good idea. <laughs> okay. And I gotta see it out. I gotta try it out. I gotta try out what happens if frog big on the top. I, I gotta know, okay? I I I feel like I'm I'm just doing forbidden uh, jutsus constantly right now. But I gotta find out. I gotta find out. I I can't help myself. I gotta find out what frog what frog look like like this uh, and I hope you all support me I hope you're all supporting me right now because this is uh, it's a lot oh my god <laughs> yikes sorry <laughs> sorry everybody I'm sorry about this genies <laughs> oh man <laughs> this is um so pixel art's fun, in case you can't tell. Um, I'm having the time of my life over here. Uh, I, I, uh, I just have to put my pen down and look at it for a second. Um, I agree. I am fine. I'm memeing too close to the sun right now. I, uh, I feel like this. Um, I feel like. I mean, this is still when I. If you were to look at this um, thing. Uh, would you agree uh, that this is frog? This is frog, and this is this is a frog still. Um, it's a frog, you know. <laughs> it's oh man, oh man! Look at that. How's that? Oh yes, that's how a frog moves. This is what a frog looks like. Okay, this is how a frog moves. This is what a frog looks like. I owned frogs for. Uh, 22 years of my life I got two dumpy tree frogs when I was six years old and I didn't know that they were both live one would live to be 18 and the other would live to be 22 um, and they both passed or w the second one passed while I was a student at SVA so if anyone knows something about a frog this is it oh is the music not playing I've got creepy music playing but it's not let me let me let me pop it I think it was too low and I was nervous where is it? Where's my stream deck? Oh, is my stream deck not even playing? Did I close it? I must have closed it. That's probably what happened. Okay. Is this better? I'm glad I'm glad you ch you, you chimed. I want music too. How's that? Is that too loud? Is that good? It's the, the best royalty-free um, cyberpunk music I could find. Dance music, I see. Dance music for the frog. What do I got? I've got, um... Give me one second. I can maybe do this. Let's see, do I have okay, yes, I do. I have some uh some music. Now, I'll be honest, it's a little suggestive. So, you know, look out for that. But... <laughs> now, we gotta finish it, but it's just a little just a little bit of a preview of what's to come. Now back to this music once we finish this thing out but uh 
don't worry. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. I've got a, uh, I've got appropriate music for for all times and all ages. That's uh, that's the, that's the kind of, it's the kind of stuff I love. All right, let's do a boring tween this time. We might we might not even want this. We might throw this tween right out. We might be like, what am I, what am I even doing with this tween over here? But sometimes, much as I hate it, you gotta draw a tween just to see if you need a tween. That is, that's just what it is. I'm all about the process. I love process. Process cheese, processed, it's just process, you know? I'm, I'm into process. Um, you name it, <laughs> you name it, I, I like it if it's processed. Okay, uh, all right, this frog, it's, it's smiling in between. So we can put like maybe, maybe maintain Oh, this is an interesting one to like do. I think, oh, that's good. What I just did that by accident, but that's, that is the answer to have the frog be doing one of these complicated sort of faces as we tween between these two. All right. I didn't, I wasn't expecting to, I'll be honest. I wasn't expecting to draw a classic character uh, when I started the stream, but I've never had more fun in my life and felt like I was flying too close to the sun at the same time. So, you know, thank you everybody for giving me this opportunity and being here with me while, while we draw, while we draw frog. Yeah, it's, yeah, so it's like charging up for it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is, um, Honestly, I don't want to. I don't want to make it sound like I'm being too egotistical right now, but I think we're doing God's work right now. Um, not to, <laughs> not to say like this drawing is like that any or anything like that, but it's you know I'm being spoken spoken to and spoken through. You know, one of those, one of those things, one of those classics uh, of of old school lit. All right, and let's uh, let's have Frog coming back down from this from this high of being bumped up, literally all the way up there. And then. We're almost, we're almost there. I love this color palette. I think I'm gonna use this color palette uh, a lot. It is very charming to me. Okay, let's, let's, let's set this first frame to have a little bit of a delay on it. So we'll set it to 200 milliseconds. And we'll turn off onion skin and we'll see. Honestly, that's a that's a croak right there. That's a croak. I think if we really want it to be a croak, we uh, and this is coming from my frog knowledge, we we give it a little bit of an open mouth here. That's the worst open mouth I've ever. It's horrible. Uh, we give it a little bit of a like a open a mouth opening. I don't know if I'm gonna want to do this. Uh. But, 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 you know, once again, sometimes you have to see what's out here in the world. Uh, and, you know, if there's one thing I know about frogs as an expert, uh, they croak. This is going to look horrible, honestly. I already... <laughs> this is a bad idea. Uh, luckily, I could show off one of Asprite's other features, which is the undo function. <laughs> this is not going to look good. I am definitely sure it's not going to look good, but you know, we got to, we got to go all the way through. We got to, we got to find out if how bad it looks before we can actually throw this in the trash. Um, it's not going to read like it's croaking at all. I don't think it's going to read like that at all, but we have to find out. No, it's horrible. Everything about this is bad. We made it worse. <laughs> we're, 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 we're Look at this control Z function going all the way back to basics. Back to when we had a beautiful frog. We're missing a pixel. Back to this beautiful frog. I think we got to go back to 100 milliseconds. No, I think even more so. So do we have the front and back? That's the problem. Now this is a frog that cannot be satisfied. Now I'm noticing there are some issues in it when we scroll through think that the issue is mostly 
around uh, similarities between the eyes here. There's a few points where the lines get a little uh, messed up. Um, so let's fix those. Okay, so like we don't need this on top of here. So this is like that organizational part I was talking about before. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, you'll love pixel art. If you don't, um, sorry, you probably won't like it that much. Um, I find it really satisfying though. It's like it's like you're doing work to improve the thing without actually doing any work. It's just nice. Sometimes those are the best days on a job when you're just like you're just like hanging out. Uh, and you have busy work, but it's like not that not that hard. Just adding polish, you know. Um. Mm hmm. Okay, so there's still a few little uneven parts. Like, you know what? We might have to give the eye ridges. Just make them full the whole way down. I think we got to do it. This also might be a mistake, but we'll find out. We'll find out together. And then, all right, we've got a few spots here where we went the other way, and we had it. We needed it on uh, single lines, but we have it on doubles. So let's fix those really quick. I'm using my mouse like an idiot. Hong Kong. I think, I think we're there. I think we got this. Wow. All right, let's go back to it. How does this make you feel? That's the question. Maybe we pop a little, you know, we can add to it, you know, put in a little female he. <laughs> and that's what we do. Oops, I hate it again. Sorry. That's how much it is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm going to save this frog because this frog's awesome. Um, but uh, Pixel Stream, we're going to call it uh, Frog Hanging Out Loop. That's good. So that way I'll look at it later and it'll be like, oh, Frog Hanging Out Loop. Great. Cool. Um. Yeah, I think like that's a pretty good read of the situation. Um I think that's a very astute read of the situation. Okay, this actually we need it not there in that first one. Okay, now now we're saving it. So you know, this is how you do pixel art basically. And you go a lot smaller than this, honestly. Like if we look if we were to look at um if we were to look at like what what was the original Mega Man? uh sprite size um i'm gonna guess it's gonna be like eight by eight no it's gotta be bigger than that mega man was 24 by 24 somebody uploaded all of the sprites but they don't have an <laughs> except for mega man um so it looks like 24 by 24 is what it was so this is 36 by 36 so this frog has 50 percent more processing power attached to it uh than mega man does so i guess you could argue that that means it's 50 percent be better uh, it definitely feels like the kind of uh creature that would like be in one of those games and mega man would attack it and i wouldn't feel good about that hashtag boycott mega man um so yeah here's my frog hanging out um this is like because of those um, onion skins, the reds and blues, it's really easy to um, to add and draw in a way that if you're on uh, Photoshop, you have to constantly be going back and forth. Oh my gosh, the other thing Photoshop doesn't have um, is right now, you can see I'm moving the timeline. I'm doing that just with the arrow keys or with the period and comma keys. You know, period and comma is what you use in, anim in uh, Animate um, and the arrow keys. 
You can't do that in Photoshop on the timeline. I, I don't know why. So it means that like I have to like draw something, then go up here and then move manually between them. And it's like by the time I've drawn something and then moved up here and changed the frame to be like, okay, that's where it is. And then gone back. I don't know where it was. I want to keep my, my finger here. So I'm like, okay, I know exactly what pixel I need, need to draw on. It is, I don't know why the music stopped. I don't know why Photoshop doesn't change that. Um, thank you, Dead Hyenas. I agree. Replace Mega Man with Classic Frog. Um, I really like this classic character. I, I Again, I didn't expect to make a classic character today, but this is a keeper. Um, if anyone needs access to this, to a gif of it or something, just in your life. Um, you know. Hit me up after the stream. Uh, so yeah, uh, from here, I think uh, my plan was to go back to good old Photoshop, which I've uh, just been explaining is not as good for this, and continue to draw Gretchina. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's favorite Gretchina. After coming back uh, to uh, to Photoshop, I, I always like use the wrong button, so that's why I kept I kept. Uh, setting up uh, masks is because Q is lasso for some reason in Aspirate, uh, whereas it's L here. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is Gracchina and Gracchina. Oh yeah. Let's give Gracchina a nice hat. Um, Gracchina works at an orphanage the setting of our role-playing game tomorrow night new Haverlock Hunters which I'm very excited about and I hope some of you might join me for it's, it's a lot of fun it's going to be a lot of uh, it's be uh, a bunch of SVA faculty uh, playing a, a very overproduced uh, role-playing game stream um it's 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 fun being an animator and uh, and liking stuff like that. So you can just invest so much time and energy um, making uh, your streams uh, look way too good for how uh, small the audience is for them, which is what it's all about, you know, making good stuff uh, to your standards, regardless of uh, of the logic of doing so. this up a little bit. Um, so is there anybody, uh, does anybody have any questions? Because I was pretty much from this point on, uh, my plan was to draw, was to uh, just draw pixel art like this way and kind of like point out the stuff uh, that I was talking about before, like with the patterns that I'm doing now. You know, keeping it, uh, keeping on um, doubles on the back or on the front, we're, we're keeping it pretty much uh, on singles so that it, it gives us this sense of, uh, of like a bolder, more shadowy back. Uh, but if does anybody have any questions about, about uh, pixel art or effects animation or animation in general or Twitch or well, anything, anything at all? I mean, I don't know that much about Twitch. I, I've been, I was streaming on it a lot before Omicron, but uh, it doesn't mean I actually learned a lot. This hat is crazy. I kind of like just went in without really thinking about what I was doing. Um, and it's, you know, I think it's, I'm so warmed up off that frog in my, in my uh, day job that I am just, just like being taken uh, by a majestic spirit and being shown what uh, what cool hats and shapes can exist in the world, you know. Like if I was, if you were to look at this, would, would tell don't tell me you would look at this hat and say that is the hat of somebody who works at an at an orphanage uh, in the 1900s. That's an orphan. That's an orphanage hat. You know. Hold on, I need to zoom out for you to for you to 
for you to be able to answer answer that properly. Let me let me let me do the final touches, and then we'll then we'll know. I'm not sure about these lines. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, th I think I maybe I was I was uh, I was too excited. Um, I'm not sure about about this hat anymore. Um, you know, but like with the frog, sometimes you just gotta you just gotta move ahead. You gotta be bold there. I do pressing Q again. Uh, when I what I want to do is press L for last you. Okay, I probably shouldn't do that because it it can dilute the pixel, the pixels. Yeah, need some hair, but uh, that's somebody who works in orphanage. All right, I didn't have chat open. Hold on, let me go back to it. Um, the stream tomorrow uh, is the uh, is a tabletop role playing game. Uh, so we're gonna be playing like a D and D game, but it's it's based on uh, my own uh, rule set uh, to, to make it much simpler than D and D. Uh, and it is about, uh, it takes place in a 19th century, like sort of um, Victorian-esque uh, city that I would describe as post-fantasy. Uh, it just means that you've got all sorts of different fantasy creatures living in the city, but we're not doing normal fantasy creatures. No, we have uh, frog people and bug people and bird people uh, and pig people who are humans. Uh, humans are pig people. Um, and they live in the city and there's all sorts of problems and so the people are uh, going to the players are trying to solve those problems uh, that's what it's about um, I can actually show you I got uh, some of animation for some of the characters here um, this is characters being played by uh, Lily Padula who is a um, illustration teacher and then this is a little bit outdated, but uh, this is Egbert, uh, who is played by Kay Downs, who is a animation thesis professor. Uh, then we have Multi, who is, uh, they did, it came in without a fade because it's, it's a newer piece of animation, but Multi is a uh, bird person played by Bryce Gold from the uh, cartooning department, teaches, I think, comics production. Uh, so those are just a couple examples. We also have um, uh, Jensen Eckwall is also going to be playing. Uh, Jensen uh, also teaches uh, illustration um, in the illustration department. Uh, it's a game we've been playing for a while, so we're, we're going to be playing that. Uh, when it comes to planning, we're going to draw on pixel art. Do I, do I have a process? Um, I sort of think for a long time before I draw. So, like, let's go back to this. This is something I finished, like, kind of uh, last night. Um, when I was drawing this... I had like an idea of what I wanted to do. So um, in fact, I can show you, um, not here. Okay, wait, I can't actually pull it up. But um, I kind of had an idea of a format. So um, if we, if I go to this untitled page, I, I was like, okay, so I want an open door here and I want stairs like here. And then we'll have, I'll draw, I like drawing backgrounds. So it's like, I'll draw a bunch of random stuff here and then foreground objects all to kind of um, help contain the space. Then I'm going to have a big open blank space here because I want this praying gesture. I want to have lightning flash, but I need a way to show it. So I was like, okay, I guess I have to put the window like over here because I want this big blank space to be the primary focus of the room. Um, and then adding the roof was just to like further contain the space. You know, I want it to feel a little claustrophobic. And then the other thing I knew I was going to do is I knew I wanted to use color to um, to like also help guide the eye. So that's why the um, I've got like a bunch of shadow layers that basically do this all to um, guide the eye out. And then you want further contrast you know, with the with the shadow, the big shadow of the person praying coming out of the door here. So this was like more or less um, what I drew when I started the pixel art. 
um, uh, for for uh, the trouble with children. Um, and it's because and like it's it's so I had a basic like idea of a, of a layout that I wanted, and I think it is one of those things where. I don't know if you're one of those people where you think about what you want to draw before you put it in or if you start like working it all on the page, but I absolutely had an easier time um, working this out uh, beforehand, um, like throwing in a bunch of uh, like throwing out a bunch of ideas and then moving them around. So admittedly, I originally had um, the figure over here. I don't know what that was. Um, let me merge these. I originally had the figure praying actually kind of like locked over to this corner and the prayer was like a lot um it was a lot like smaller it was definitely like you know praying like like this instead of let's continue this one time. it was definitely closer to like a praying like this um and then i had uh trouble with children over here um, but, uh, I was like, I'm putting way too much emphasis on the words and using too much space for that. So that doesn't make any sense. So I kind of kept rearranging it and thinking about it until I, uh, until I figured out like this was the basic format that I wanted. And then I just dove in. I started drawing the stairs first because I knew that was going to be the worst part. Um, um, and then I drew the stairs first Then I drew the doorway and then I, then I drew this, these, the, the barrel and the blocks and in fact if I show you um, if I turn off the uh, shadows you could see like I actually did a much more full uh, drawing of everything before adding the shadows in just because I enjoy it um, so this is actually kind of what it looked like um, before uh, as just line art beforehand um, and it was, yeah, it was just me enjoying drawing all of these fixtures in here and then figuring out, like, I don't want to draw all this stuff back here. So I'll just uh, draw a bunch of, like, dark lines and outline it in white. Uh, but you kind, kind of just diving right in once you figure out the broad strokes of it, you know? Thank you so much, Sam. I appreciate that. Um, and Kaylee, you asked what the uh, story was. So, like, the, the game in general is just about, like, mercenaries in the city played by faction members. It's pretty jokey. Um, and fun, but the, this story is that there is a problem uh, with children going missing at an orphanage, and that's why I'm drawing Gretchina, and that's why uh, because Gretchina will be a character who I will be playing. And I have you'll see if you tune in tomorrow, but um, I've got a little system. It's hard to like show you on stream like when I'm not in that stream format, but I've got a system where I can uh, press buttons to have like the characters I'm playing as appear in a flash of candlelight so you can kind of see the character I'm role playing as whereas all of the other players they're uh oh show my show the platypus for a second uh whereas the other characters are um they are uh played by um their, their characters are, are underneath them the entire time sorry it took me so long to do that uh to explain that I don't know why um, and I can show you them as well. Because I'm, I'm proud of them. I think that they look good. And they are also pixelated. So this is, uh, we've got Mother Sari. That's one. Here's Egbert, who's a frog. We've got Multi. And then we've got Valencia. So these are underneath them the whole time, so you can keep a me uh, memory of who they are and stuff. Anyway. Save changes. Uh, no, don't save changes. Go back to position. Okay. Um, you know what? I've come to a full decision that I hate this hat. Uh, you know, it, 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 it's I've become a bigger, bigger and better person in the time that I was away and looking at other features. Uh, so I'm I'm deleting this hat. Uh, while I'm deleting this hat, does anybody else have any other uh, questions or ideas about uh, or or thoughts? Um, about pixel art that they'd like to go over. There are, again, I love a sprite, which, hold on, let me, um, it's got like a weird name. Uh, I like a sprite, but ag admittedly there are a bunch. Okay, yeah, I, even I was gonna spell it. I, there are a bunch of different um, pixel art programs that you can use, including Photoshop. Um, 
and you can get a version of it for free, but you can't save. So if you want to experiment with it, then he says $20 to buy it, or you um, can compile it uh, for free, but I don't know how involved that is. Uh, but I'm writing it in. Uh, Wizard Hole is me. That's me. That's my, uh, my Twitch channel. Um, but yeah, this is definitely my... Uh, uh, doing the role-playing game stuff is 100% my... Um, my sort of, it's like my hobby. It's the thing that I, I love to do. It's my creative outlet because often, you know, work can be creatively fulfilling, uh, but often it's just work. Um, and it took me a while to figure that out. Let's give Gretchen a baller haircut. Damn, one and done. One and done, just like that. That there's there we've got a haircut. Why did I even draw on that cranium? I don't know. Like I said, I've got a big forehead, so you know I, I want to represent. You know I want to draw on the forehead. The uh, the the I want to draw that forehead in just so I've got an idea, so the world can know. I don't know if she looks evil enough. I definitely want her to look like really evil. definitely want really evil looking. It's probably the eyes. There we go. That's a little better. These eyebrows, too. These eyebrows are inquisitive. They're surprised. They aren't um, uh, deadened from the uh, from working ooh, huge eyebrows. Yes. They aren't deadened from uh, working in a Victorian era orphanage and um, having children go missing and now being the only person left on staff. Let's do bigger cheeks, cheekbones. I think I think Gretchina is quite cheeky. Also, um, let's pop one of these teeth out of here. <laughs> let's try that out. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I think, I think we're getting somewhere now. I think we're getting somewhere now. Um, so now we got to go in and do what I was talking about before. We got these broad strokes in. Now we need to um, equalize the lines out. Uh, just kind of like keep the pattern consistent uh, so it looks good. It's just, you know, it's just good practice to do this. Um, I think we have an idea of where it is that we want the hairline to go because we already drew it in. So it's actually not that difficult to um, clean it up as we go. Yeah, we want to dodge around the um, eyebrow here. And then oh. draw up and around. There we go. I hate that. I <laughs> uh, I hate it. I, I, ruined, I ruined the line. I don't know why I made it go up and around like that. Um, I'm a fool. Uh, I, I, I switch to uh, I switch to um, doing the upward lines too quickly. I think I need to do one of these, you know, where you uh, you alternate uh, small to uh, so I'm alternating ones and twos right now. Okay, I think actually now that I'm here. We actually want to start alternating. Yeah, we want to start alternating like this, uh, going horiz more horizontal. Uh, not too horizontal though. Ooh, this is one of those situations where maybe my uh, maybe my rough line was actually better uh, than than my cleaned up line, which you know can definitely happen. Yeah, yeah, it like lost a lot of its energy, it lost its spirit. That's annoying. Let's go back. See, some lines like this are easier. Like the this this line is um, over here because it's just kind of like straight the whole time, uh, and it has like a little bit of a curve. Like that was really easy to fix. This is no problem fixing fixing this line over here, but fixing um, this line, I feel like this line also is just not going to be that hard. This one this one on the back of the head. So we do want to work on two on on doubles. Um, I shouldn't say two. That's an animation term. Um, 
that's making a decision there. Um, we do need to work on doubles back here, but like, look how easy this is. This is this is pretty easy. In fact, my stroke already kind of like took care of most of the choices. Um, do we, well, no, we'll, we'll just go play it. It took care of most of the choices, so I don't really need to even think that hard about this. Well, maybe we need... Uh, it's just like minor adjustments as we go, which again, I find kind of relaxing. I feel like at the end of it, I can look at the line and be like, all right, that line works. It, it, it feels good. It feels, uh, feels like it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I think I might do that. But, um, uh, but this line here, whoo, Hachi Machi. This one is, um, because I, I do want it. Well, I guess I can, can I overshadow the, you know what? We can have a line go over an eyebrow. Mm, no, we can't. I don't like that. Okay, I like this one. I like this line. Let's turn off old Gretchina. Oh, this is fun, this music. Um, cool. Yeah, it's working out this time. Oh, wow. Wait, the frog on this music. I don't know, if, can you hear this? It seems really low on my end, so I don't even know how, lo how loud it is on your end but it's kind of cool I mean, like uh let me turn it up a little bit and then let's let's try this let's see this i think this is uh frog's too fast for this frog's not feeling this never mind we're going back one or more chin hairs okay i will always take input from stream I really like Gretchina. Uh, Gretchina is one of my favorites, um, and I will be doing voices. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to turn tune in, I can give you a little preview and do Gretchina's voice right now. I'm a little rusty, but people gotta want that. I'm not. I'm not just gonna do it. I'm not gonna presume that people want that. All right, let's do put on singles over here. Okay, I feel like we're getting there. I think we need some of these Professor Farnsworth neck bits, you know, just just generally. Because like, if if I've got a problem with this character right now, it's that a little too young looking. Gretchina is not. Gretchina is not young. Oh man, okay, wait, how does Gratina's voice go? Is it, it's, it's, oh hello, horse master. I see that you're here, and you're ready to inspect the children, I suppose. I, I'd love to show you around, make sure things are up to code. So that's Gratina, uh, a classic character everybody <laughs> loves. Um... Speaking is uh, difficult and painful, uh, and so it should be um, as I as I uh, as I speak. I speak it. Okay, I feel good about this. I think this is a I think this is a Gretchina. Let's try another long hat though. I think I liked the idea of the hat, but that old hat was a bit too maybe chef. Wait, no, I had it before. Just a square hat. It's a cl it's a classic square hat. This is you know we all know about these. dog is playing with a ball <laughs> on the floor. Um, yes, it's Gretina. I, 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 might, I might need to figure out. I might need to work on it a bit. I've done it in the past. Sorry about that. I've got this animal here. 
who um, wants to bark because it doesn't like when you do voices. Um, this is Bobka, um, and it is a animal. Uh, full, um, what do you what do you call it? A purebred animal. Um, <coughs> hey, quiet. Where are you? Fifteen month old corgi, and a real stinker. Let me tell you. Like as all good dogs are. Um, thank you, thank you. I love to, uh, I love to voice act. Um, I do, I do enjoy it. Okay, we've got a little, uh, we've got a little, a little hat here. Yeah, I don't think we need to, I don't think we need to question this hat anymore. We'll draw like one line just to add some, de some degree of detail to it. And then we'll all call it, uh, we'll call it with, uh, with Gretchen his hat. Um, I've got a number of other characters I need to draw. In fact, um, back when I used to run the stream, um, I had so many characters. I, I can show you on the on the left here. Uh, if we go through it, we have, let's see, all of these are different characters. Uh, a bunch of random characters. All of these were characters. It was, it, I think I had something like 40 uh, characters drawn and ready to go based on what the players did, um, you know, in case they decided to go, you know, to investigate certain parts of the city, I wanted to have uh, big characters, like, ready. Um, and I just find this fun. I find, like, this this kind of, like, this pretty cathartic and relaxing to just, like, draw stuff like this. And I thought, like, oh, why not, like, combine them? I think this is Gretchina. I think... I don't... I think that this is Gretchina, and I think that Gretchina is amazing i uh i think i think we did it we did it everybody we we got gretchina uh on the on uh, on the internet i think gretchina even was uh i think coined kind of randomly Once again, I'm struggling to to draw this line. I think it's because it needs, yeah, it needs a, it needs a pattern. Uh, it's actually kind of cool how like sometimes the line will like show you what pattern it needs. I say that after I was just like mocking the Photoshop tool function, but it is worse. Uh, it is, trust me. I don't think I'm gonna really go into this too much. I don't. I don't think I need to. I think these lines kind of like speak for themselves. Um, uh, so I'm not going to mess with them too much. I think like we just get them out here, and then yeah, there's Gretchina, missing tooth. Maybe 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 we should make the bottom of the uh, yeah. I think that's a little a little better. Maybe make one of the eyes like lower than the other. No, that's not that's not right. No, I liked it the way it was before. I think we're I think we're good like this. So this is Gretchina. And the other thing I needed to add, which you can see here, this is an old drawing I had. I don't like this drawing though. Uh, is now we need to add some uh, shadows to it. Um, but I'm not trying to make it I'm not trying to make it complicated, just you know, just some basic fills. And then um, probably just just a few shadow lines. Let's see. Let's draw an underneath layer just so I can draw pretty loosely as we do the shadows. We're obviously going to put the shadows. Uh, the light is coming uh, this way, uh, hence the darker lines on the back. So that's where we're going to be putting our shadows. Uh, and this is where I really get to do what I like about pixel art. Look at how cool and dynamic these lines look. And this is just for me, just basically scrolling up and being a little sketchy. I am pulling my pen like up and up and uh, off the, uh, I'm pushing it down and then pushing, pulling it back up um, to give us this nice uh, sense of like texture uh, as we go. I really enjoy doing this. Uh-oh, we missed a regularity, there we go. Um, and you know I'm gonna definitely go overboard and then and then tone it down because these shadows are really deep and dark. But there, 
Oh, yeah, uh, Kaylee, thank you for stopping in. Uh, it was awesome to uh, have you here. Uh, I hope I hope you're doing well. And I hope I see you soon. Um, yeah, this is like pretty stark shadows, so I'm ooh, horrible. So we are going to like maybe make the teeth a little red, right? That's like normal. I mean, don't do that. I mean, it's a little too, it's, it's, there's a, there's, I love grotesque and despicable, uh, but there's a line. Um, and the fact is, Gretchina is amazing. And I, and I love, I love and want to respect Gretchina. Um, so, you know. But it is pretty cool how, like, just the single shading color can actually give you a lot. It can do a lot. Yeah, nice. Got a little makeup on. It's too much up here, though. Way too much. Too much over here as well. But even sometimes just like drawing in and erasing can do this cool thing. The other thing to watch out for with pixel art, um, which I guess like com combined with like the pay attention to your patterns and the ones and, and the doubles and singles thing is a lot of time uh, pixels have this obsession with forming into squares. So you'll be drawing and then you'll have these like weird square angles. Just gotta watch out for that. Since pixels are squares, they wanna form squares and squares seem to like pop really badly. So you, you do need to like pay pretty close attention to what it is your, uh, where you're drawing your lines. I think honestly, I don't overdo it. I, I feel like it's already, already looking so, she's looking so good. Um, but I think we will just put a little shading on the clothes. Like, like, look at that. Look at how, oh, I love how that looks. Like, just one and done, getting these, like, nice, shadowy, like, weird texture, uh, this weird textural feel. And again, it's just me, like, like, quickly pulling the pen up and down while I sketch sketch across. And like, you know, see, this is an example of what I mean by like, they want to form into pixels. Like, this looks terrible. You've got a box here, you got a box here. So like, that needs to be broken up. Um, and you can always break things up by like, if you've got a box, you can always like, immediately break it, put pixels onto its corners or onto, or like perpendicular from it. And that'll almost always look good. So I think that's Gracina, Gracina done. Um, I've got a bunch more that I want to do tonight um, as well, just to have them ready for tomorrow. Um, now let's see. I maybe want to just get rid of all of this actually. Like, like um, yeah, that was actually. I think that was improvement. definitely go overboard when you're using like a shadow color like this maybe take it off the teeth so you don't want to like be distracting too much from what you're actually trying to draw attention to you know I think this is actually pretty good um, hmm. yeah yeah Gracina is looking lovely. I think we'll. I think we'll. Uh, I think we. We think we could call that done. Well, let's see. Like, do it today. Nope, that was horrible. Um, yeah, I think we call this done. But I am, I am going to go back in one last time and clean some of these lines that I drew in. Um, yeah, and the chin is like it's bold, but I don't think it actually needs to be bold. zooming out and then I'm seeing these bold spots that need to be uh, taken care of because you know again consistency matters you either want to be uh, either want it on doubles or not you want to be you want to be conscious about that it's really important oh and over here too actually a lot of this hair also has that problem We 
don't want. I never went in through and cleaned this at all, did I? Oh, it looks good. Okay, so we've got singles there, we've got singles there. A doubles here. I feel like this should actually turn into singles about like halfway up. I probably could have called this done like a while ago. I, d I don't think I needed to do to go into this, but again, it is it is part of what I enjoy about. This is not racing. I don't know what it is. Okay, I guess. It's what I enjoy about pixel art the most. Actually, is is this this bit of like going in and and working on it? Because I, I I don't know. I I otherwise I draw my lines so. I just redraw lines over and over and over again um, whenever I'm doing personal work. Like on, on professional projects, it's like, you know, you just you do what you have to do. You're working on something else, somebody else's style. You know, you do the best you can within that ground. But for job, for like personal projects, it's really easy to like get obsessive. And I like that when you're doing pixel art, like your options are like this or like this, you know, it's, <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense, but you're just your options are a lot more limited because of the format. You have to work within the grounds of the pixel, and um, that limitation is really um, exciting to me. Um, and I think there's a lot more you can do with this than just like video game art. Though I love video game art, and I am intending to like continue with this to try to like maybe make my approach into more video gamey art at some point, which. You know, if I uh, if I go down that route or if I keep doing it, I would love to uh, you know, keep, keep streaming. Show y'all progress reports and take y'all with me. Um, cool. Uh, Gina, done. Lovely. Smurge these layers. Gretchina, pixel. Let's delete this old one that we don't need. And then move on to the next one. This is Chadwick Youngman. Another important character. Uh, and I'm probably just going to, honestly, keep drawing at these as I... Uh, as I keep going, but what time is it? it's like 9.48. Okay, we got probably like 10 more minutes then I'm probably gonna hop off. Does anybody have any other, like any questions? I know I've asked a couple times. Does anybody have any other thing that they, uh, they wanna take a look at or ask about? Um, Cause I'm, I can just keep drawing Chadwick's and Gretchina's and stuff all night and I probably will do that. But you know, I don't know if I, uh, I mean, if I need to stream all that, I'm not sure how, how, uh, how much Gracchina and Chadwick uh, the world the world wants to see, but you you will of course be able to uh, tune in tomorrow for our RPG stream where we will be showing off these characters. I will be role playing them and among alongside my friends uh, to tell a a story about a spooky orphanage. So yeah, if anybody has any other thing. Otherwise, we'll just keep going. I love uh, Chadwick. Um, Chadwick is a great character. Uh, Chadwick has... Karchina has only appeared once or twice. Chadwick, however, has appeared many times in the previous games. Chadwick was uh, Lily Padula, um, illustration... Uh, 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 thesis uh, illustration teacher. Um, Chadwick was Lily Padula's... Uh, a confidant and muscle and a uh, boyfriend and it's uh, and the, the, the nature of their relationship always uh, made me laugh and it was very fun to play Chadwick because of that basically because Lily's character is a vampire and so she keeps Chadwick around because Chadwick uh, is hot and and is basically a blood bag uh, but you know you still have to deal and do uh, boyfriend activities even if you are a vampire and even if you're even if you're uh, 
you know, you're a vampire and you're mostly in the relationship for the blood, you know, you still have to go to the opera and you still have to go and, and hang out. Otherwise, they're not going to stick around. And that was the, 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 the nature of that was um, uh, really fun to play with. So these are uh, obviously characters I've already drawn before, which is which creates like makes it a little interesting to go through. Gracchino was mostly a new invention. Chadwick I like the design of, so it's it's more or less going to be about me um, uh, drawing Chadwick kind of as is. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The original, you know, Chadwick Youngman. It's where it's where it, it's where it comes from. And and who amongst us, if we were were a vampire would not uh, want our very own Chadwick uh, young men to, uh, you know, provide us the very blood that we crave and desire. It's it's basically just arithmetic, honestly. It's not even science. It's more basic than that. It's just straight up arithmetic. You know, do add, add up the numbers. Do the digits and you'll find that you ever, like, realize you're just, like, talking? <laughs> and then, and, you, and you, 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 uh, you, you realize it after you've been talking for a minute, and you're like, I'm saying some pretty smart stuff right now. <laughs> it's all solid gold streaming. All solid gold streaming. Oh, my. Well, I'm having a good time. Draw my little my little pixel lines. It's cool as you as you kind of like get used to it. You can you can sort of control the um, the angle a little bit as you go. But it, it's I feel like I'm going to become a better artist for having worked on this. Um, like in general, uh, working on pixel art, just because I'm I'm having to pay so much more attention to the way the brush goes because the the the, spe uh, the specific nature of the strokes. Um, matter a lot more than when I use like a texture car, car, uh, Kyle T. Webster brush, you know? Really? Oh, I'm so I'm so glad you think it's enlightening. That's amazing. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Bia. Thank you, uh, Dead Hyenas. I appreciate I appreciate that it's uh, that's helpful just to watch. I'm yeah, I'm down to just keep doing it. I mean, I don't mind. I'm, I'm just here anyway. I might listen to, uh, what, it, Sam, do you know what Twitch's, like, policy is with, like, music? Because I'm playing this music that I am 99% sure is all royalty-free. Um, but can you just, like, play music while you're streaming? Or is that is that, like, a problem now? I imagine it's a problem now. But I don't actually know. Okay, these are just... Yeah, I'm just curious. Oh, I'm just curious. Um, Cause I've got a bunch of royalty free music. That's like usually what I play just to be safe, but it would be nice to actually you know, play some uh, classic tunes. Uh, just pop in hyper pop. I mean, what, what, what's a better, what's a better, um, pairing than hyper pop and Gretchinas, you know? I feel like that's that's it's like the match made in heaven, you know? Yeah, I've seen a lot of streamers get in trouble with TOS stuff. Well, so this, the, the stream, the, the role-playing game to stream tomorrow, I know that that is all uh, royalty uh, royalty free um, because I specifically found a website uh, that does role-playing game music that is all royalty free. It's basically this one. It's uh, tabletop audio. It's basically like you can use this stuff for free anywhere you want as long as... Um, you join their Patreon, and I join their Patreon. Yeah, I think it's like you join their Patreon at a certain level, and then you can download all of the tracks. And I, uh, um, it's it's real. So that's really useful. That was like kind of my safeguard. This track I'm playing right now, I think is I'm pretty sure. I I 
I did my due diligence at the time, but it's also a track, a playlist I made, I found like a year or two ago. So I, you know, I'm trying to do my homework. That's, I guess, the, the point. I don't want to leave anyone in the lurch. Who wants to be left in the lurch? Not me. I feel like it was coming though. The like the DMCA, the DMCA uh, strikes. They've been. I feel like it's been it's been on the horizon for a hot minute. Yeah, that makes sense. That that would be sad. Yeah, see that that's funny. Yeah, would nightcore versions work? I I think honestly, I think that the answer has a lot more to do with will the algorithm uh detect will the the automatic algorithm detect nightcore remixes of songs um and do they care about stopping you? I feel like that's the I feel like that's what it is. I I don't I don't feel like it's being enforced with enough regularity to actually know for sure how or how it's all working cuz i feel like it is generally against TOS to be playing to be playing or consuming stuff you don't have rights to but wasn't most of the TOS stuff about people watching shows like uh, i know there was a big bit of drama with um this was a while ago now but like uh maybe like a few months ago but like wasn't pokemane like just watching like full seasons of survivor or something um that feels like pretty obviously like something you shouldn't do um like without risking getting your stream canceled but i guess probably pokemon was like well i'm i'm a huge partner so i can get away with it but then again that's probably even worse because you got to imagine like not just talking twitch politics but you got to imagine that the uh that from twitch's perspective it's like wow it looks really bad if one of our our partnered uh, content creators is uh, flagrantly uh, blowing up TOS. Not that I like personally care about this, but you know it's one of those things you got to be aware of. Yeah. Well, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I'm re I'm recording on my end, so it's not. It shouldn't be a problem, regardless. It'd be crazy if like this is the one, you know? It's like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that, uh, we were totally fine with everything, but that horse noise, you know, indecent. Banned for, for, uh, uh, for being too authentic. You can't, you can't play horse noises like that online. Don't you, don't you know? Sorry, I won't play it again. I, I don't want to get you in trouble. You know, yeah, the forbidden, forbidden horse. I mean, we all we all know about that. We don't we don't have to be coy here. We're all adults. This is a, this is a college stream with adults who who understand that like there there are certain horse situations that you don't mess around with. situations. We have a great time doing uh, doing those those curls right there. Those all those all came out great. Now we just gotta count, go through and maybe consistentize them. That's a good word. That's real. Kind of like when I'm not thinking about it with characters like this, the main, my main intention is to be like, oh, uh, let's embolden, uh, let's just, just, let's just put the light, let's, let's put the dark part behind them. Um, it's probably a more scientific way to do it. 
do it, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, I mean, you're probably right. If we're going to get banned for something, Sam, it's the it's the frog. Um, because that was... Somebody's going to come out. It's like too much of a classic character to not have somebody come out of the woodwork uh, and try to claim it. But I, I invented it live on, on live online. You know? I... Uh, and, you know, I'm sure if, if push comes to shove, the full might of David Rhodes will come come down to defend the frog and our use our use of the frog and the creation of that frog. My co-host, David Rhodes. Clearly didn't know how to draw the top because the top hat look the top hat just like starts, so that's funny. That was definitely me uh, being like I can't figure out how to put this top hat connected to this body uh, when I first drew Chadwick, but that's fine. I feel like Chadwick is older now, so we might um, we'll just add a second set of lines here. And by older, I mean Chadwick was I think seventeen, well, like no, like eighteen or nineteen or twenty. Uh, and is now, you know, 20, uh, 22 or, or, or 21, you know, practically ancient. Okay, I don't like this nose. Too bold. So as I was saying, in the setting, um, all humans are, uh, all humans are pig people. They call themselves the humane. Um, and that's why they very frequently have upturned noses. They are the dominant species in the city. Let's see. Yeah, hat merging with hair. Just you know, who can be bothered to figure out how how a uh, a hat doth merge? All right. Um. Okay, feeling pretty good about this. Like, yeah, let's free up one dot in the middle of that just to break up that space. Okay, I, I feel like this nose is all busted up and the nostrils are not in the right place. So we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna we're gonna get the we're gonna get the top hat done. Cool. So again, let's clean up some of these these angles back here. So you see like this part right here, that's an issue. So we need to, yeah, we want to be consistent with it. Okay, so this is when it starts going horizontal with the pattern. And then probably around here is where we will stop putting it on doubles. And now which which part of like the double you erase is also kind of important because it, it should it should go hand in hand with the rest of the pattern. So for example, all right, so like let's let's take this spot right here. If I erase this double, this double, this double, then that creates a, a much different curve than what I actually want to do, which is erase this one and this one, which makes it feel much sharper as it as it fucks into this angle. Similarly, if I erase this, it's again much sharper because it's of three pixels, three pixels going down. I want two pixels going down. Because I want a sense of sharpness. Uh, to the angle. So, like, this, these, this is where I mean by, like, the decisions. It's not just about making things consistent for consistency's sake, you know? It's about doing all all this stuff, too. So now, I think we just draw a line there because it's, it's just a straight line. I don't need to draw it. And then, similarly, we'll give this a little bit of a curvature. Also, no problems, Tim. Uh, 
Okay. All right, I think the lines for Chadwick are done. Oh, we need to figure out this um, this nose situation. Let's turn off the one below. That's a little better. This is what the song I danced to last time. I like this song. <laughs> okay, I think uh, I think that's it. Chadwick Youngman. Now we just need to put the uh, shadows on. I guess we should we should finish what we started before and and connect the connect the hair. Why not? Let's be brave. Okay, and then over. Whoa, what am I? What was that? Jump me to a totally different layer. Okay, and then like before, a lot of this, for a lot of this, we're just gonna, we're just gonna dump. I guess we should, I should put it on the lower level. Cool. Dark hair. And similarly, we should make the jacket. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. We got some spots here that were not. Ooh, that were not that good. Okay. Um, I definitely didn't even this didn't even this part out as much. Okay. Great. Some of it's because of overlapping, like overlaps, like. ideal um it's just some of the angles and some of these spots i think if we just even this out it'll be okay what becomes tricky is sometimes when you have lines intersect like if i put it here if i put the line here th this just feels really weird to me so i feel like we'll just leave this like this corner kind of blank these don't all connect it's a little bum doubles and singles but like yeah i i think it's better that way um you know, we, it's it's it, it can be tricky with some of these corner spots. Okay. All right, so we've got that. Um, I might. I don't know if it's worth it for the vest. There must be a way, a faster way to do it. But like, you can do you could do like a nice dithering effect like this. But I have no. I, I feel like I'd have to make a pattern brush, and I've forgotten how to do that. That it be it would be cool to do this for the entire waistcoat here but it feels like a total waste of time so i'm not going to do that um i just don't remember how to make the pattern brush i could look it up of course but i i don't want to do that um instead what other splash of color should we put here probably well, i could do this as a little, just a bit of color and then maybe we can Just a little bit of color in these corners here. In case you're just, in case you've uh, you've turned in later onto the stream, we kind of talked a lot more about uh, like 
how to do pixel art and like types of pixel art a little bit earlier in the stream. Okay, this looks horrible. Um, and now I'm just I'm just doing it, uh, just talking about the process and uh, and uh, you know how I how I how I work. So right now I've got a bunch of different NPCs for a tabletop role playing game stream I am doing tomorrow at 8 p.m. Uh, and I am uh, uh, pixel arting them uh, to integrate them in. So when I play these NPCs, I press a button and they pop on screen and then we, uh, so you know who I am playing. I'm, I'm actually, I keep talking about it because I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of it. You can see there. I, I don't know. I formed like a, it formed a really big, um, boxy shape. But you, you just want to like kill that the moment you see it. The kind of boxy shapes are bleh. Yeah, I look good. It's uh, I'm losing that, that beautiful pixel art, pixel art uh, nessiness. Instead, it just looks like blocky. Right here, we've got a bunch of like a bunch of them, so I wanna break those apart. What's up, Sam? How are you doing? So, do you usually monitor like streams like this? I feel like that's uh, I feel like that must be so much work. Well, I hope it's, I hope it's, uh, I hope it's, like, fun, at least, to, like, be, you know, half chilling and half doing that. Um. You know. I, I understand you don't trust me. You know, I wouldn't trust me either. I understand. Oh, that's cool. Well, maybe we should do that sometime. That could be cool. Um, that could be fun. Because uh, I like doing this stuff. I'd be, uh, I'm probably going to wrap this one up soon just to go eat something and ooh, turn on some DMCA-able content while I, so I can draw to it. Uh, and then tomorrow people can see the fruits of this labor. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, We've got more uh, more pitches. I'd love to come back and do it again. Maybe we can do it on voice together. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I think I will. It was ten fifteen now. I said I, I said ten minutes ago, like twenty five minutes ago. So, um, 
I'm gonna do a few a, like I'm, I'm gonna finish up Chadwick, which really is just gonna be about adding these highlights over here because there are a lot of blocks of color. And then I'm gonna and then I think that's it for me. Until tomorrow. Oh my gosh, and this is why you go through because you notice little tangents like that. Not tangents. It's not a tangent. It's just wrong. I also definitely don't want to keep your sound. That's definitely not something I want to do. I think that's I think that's uh, I think that's a good Chadwick. Um, yeah. I say that and then I, it's like I might be able to more. Mm. Whoa! What did I just do? Oh. Yeah, I think I think I did like that. Just this, just this little bit on this on this edge. Yeah, I think that's good. I think I like this chat work. Call this one done. That's one done. I think I got like 10 more of these I want to do tonight. It's going to be a lot, but hey, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's it for me for this. Let's take a look at the frog one more time. While the frog is doing what the frog loves to do, I'll just say thank you everybody for uh, tuning in to this pixel art uh, tutorial stream and plus watching me do Gretchina and draw this frog. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was useful. Uh, I, I, there will be a VOD on the SVA BFA animation Twitch channel. Um, so I hope that you, uh, if you missed the beginning where we did do a little bit more, it was a little bit more tutorially at the beginning, uh, go check that out. And because uh, I go over like aspirate and how to like set and setting up files and stuff like that. Um, if you uh, enjoyed me or just enjoy streaming in general, uh, make sure you check out the uh, new Haverlock Hunters that's tomorrow. Uh, at 8 p.m., where we will be doing uh, tabletop role-playing stuff with a ridiculous amount of production value. I do hope you could hear me over this audio because, sadly, the uh, this music doesn't get any quieter. It, it it can't get quieter than this because that's that's just the level, you know. Um, dead, dead hyenas. I am so happy uh, that you felt that way. Um, Pixel art is is definitely I think really really fun. Um, it, it's just its own kind of thing, and I hope you know I hope that I hope it's something that uh, you play around with yourself and can and can do again. Uh, maybe we'll do another one of these. I'm not sure. I'll talk to Sam about it. And we'll see. But in any case, I hope you all have a wonderful night. I hope I see you tomorrow at eight o'clock, same time as this, um, for more uh, for more. Uh, more Twitch streaming with the School of Visual Arts. Uh, one last time. All right. Thank you again uh, for, uh, for, for being here. I love you all. Have a great night. Um, talk to you soon.